Steven got the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream. We actually released the Pipe Dream Cask Strength uh, on Friday to patrons, straight from uh, straight from Redwood Empire. It wasn't from us. Uh, they just gave us access, and we sold over 200 of them, despite them only shipping to 35 states or so. So I think we could have really cleaned them out had we uh, had we have been able to ship to the whole U.S. That pipe dream was uh, we tried it on the stream last week, and it was fantastic. Uh, any update on another Christmas pick? No, but he said we could do it. So we just gotta we gotta figure out what we want. Um, I've got some ideas, but it'll probably be early next year. Mike, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the, we talked to Short Barrel. I'm hoping to get more toasted for January. Um, I'm hoping the Still Austin is there for January as well. And then I'm trying to get Matt uh, Crittenton to get distribution in Texas so we can ship it through our Texas retailer that's handling them for now. And as soon as he gets distribution in Texas, then I'll go, I'll go buy more barrels. Um, I went bourbon hunting while I was in Austin, and I am going to get some flack on that video. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to get some negative tater comments on the video because it tatered out a little bit, and I paid full secondary for a couple of expensive bottles. Now, he had a marked up double secondary, and I was like, I'll give you full secondary, but I, I need those bottles for a work event we're doing in January, and so I, the, sponsor, it's a sponsored event. It's not my money, but... I full tatered. I full now. I also negotiated a couple other things in there I wanted, but I full tatered. So we're gonna we're, <laughs> we're gonna get a little flack on that Austin video. Drinking Weller Special Reserve. Hey, that nothing wrong with that, dude. I, when I was in Austin, every store we went into had Weller Special Reserve. Every one of them, uh, Buffalo Trace, Weller, um, and I found a single Rick House. Couldn't pay that much for it. Um, found a Russell's Thirteen. Couldn't pay the price they had on it, but. Um, what, you know, lots of, found lots of bottles, just tatered out on the ones I needed for the event. In Rochester, Minnesota. Well, that, uh, it was a fun place. I enjoyed, we bought, we've got one more video coming up on that. We're going to combine the last three places we hunted into one video. Um, I think it'll come out in a couple of weeks. Uh, the event we did with Spillway, I think is this Friday's event. Don't quote me on that, but I believe so. And then I think the final three stops will be combined into one just to, you know, we went to Idaho and Utah. It was a lot to see. So we go cut through that real quick and get to Colorado. Josh, I do not have plans for the Alabama end of year lottery because I did not win the lottery. So I don't even like, will I even go? They give, a, they give away 150 numbers this year. And honestly, all the good bottles were 150 or less. Like all the bottles worth that um, circus. And so I just don't know if I will go do that or not. I might, I might not. And if I do it, will I film it? Like we've done so much lottery content. I'm just not sure about it. Can we see all of the new, they're all upstairs, Will. I'm not going, I, like I'd have to stop stream, go upstairs, get the hats. I figured we would show all, we do have the new hats. Y'all see these, um, this is the leather patch bruzel hat. I figured we would highlight them when they're actually online and ready to be sold. Austin hunting was, they, man, we found a lot of stuff. I had to like pass, a lot of it was marked up. Some marked up a little, some marked up a lot. I bought some Weller Special Reserve at MSRP, got another big bottle of that. Uh, found uh, quite a few of the uh, Goose Island barrel aged stouts that I liked so much. And I tatered out on a couple of Van Winkles. Paid full secondary for them, but we got an event in January at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas and I needed them for that event. Um, so I did, so blessed assassin, I said a little bit about the barrel picks in that I just don't have any info right now. Um, I, they're all in transit to various sorts. They all said, hey, we're about to have your bottles bottled or, or your barrels bottled and we're gonna ship them. And then I just haven't heard anything. So usually there's a dead time there and then the, the retailer just says, hey, they're here. I'm trying to follow up on them this week, so I'll have a lot more information on Monday, I hope. Um, how'd the Still Austin pick go? It went really well. We picked a pretty good barrel. I've got it right here. This is a little sample from it. We're gonna try it after I have this stag. Still Austin single barrel. Well, this is what this, this is a 116 proof is what this is gonna be. So technically this is 118 proof barrel, 
they're going to water it down to 116 proof. I think that's the proof they put it into the barrels. Um, that's what we've got here. So we're going to try that here in just a second. Any Pennsylvania trips planned? Yeah, we're working up the East Coast next year for sure. I don't know when or how that's, if we're going to be able to, because right now our barrel picks, our barrel picks, our um, bourbon hunts, we're trying to make them a little bigger, like stretch them out a little bit, do more in the videos, right? And so that takes it from like two hours worth of shooting to about four hours worth of shooting to make sure we hit as many liquor stores as we can or if there's other things we wanna do in that town. Um, so it goes from like, I can stop at a place and just do one in passing to I need to go to that place and stay, right? And it might take a day or two, depending on how much stuff we wanna try to film while we're there, if we're gonna do a meetup or whatever. So. Um, we're just, we're trying to start planning for next year and be mindful of that so we can let y'all know. So maybe we can have a meetup, maybe y'all participate. Maybe people can go bourbon hunting with us. Like, I don't, I don't know um, exactly. Maybe a liquor store is having a drop and we can promote that and have y'all show up. And we like, I, we're here to try to help y'all get access to bottles, not just us, right? So what cool stuff could we do if we planned ahead? And with that though, it takes a lot longer in each place. So it's hard for me to like the, the road trip we just did of like 17 days just wouldn't work because we can't go and then move on, right? We got to go and plant and then go and plant. So like, would we make it all the way up to Pennsylvania? Probably not. We might make it up to DC on a road trip, then come home and then pick back up after that or something, right? So it's just kind of hard to, well, we're, we're working on an event here in Opelika for sure, Brandon. I'm having some conversations Wednesday with some folks here in Opelika that are thinking about trying to do a, a bourbon festival here in Opelika. And maybe we do an event around that so we can make it really cool and epic and offer some cool stuff for y'all. But we don't have to have all the resources to make it work. Like all of the, you know, all the pressure's not on us to make it successful. We can just piggyback on their efforts. So I'm having that conversation Wednesday. Hopefully I'll know more about that here soon and we can start getting dates and stuff. But as we're out on the road, you know, little micro get ups and, and meetups. We had some folks up to Louisville last or earlier this year when we did the live stream from the Marriott. That was fun, right? Can we get 10, 15, 20 people together and just do something fun? We need more Crittenton's Brusel picks. I, I have told Matt, I was in, when I was in um, Brandon, Mississippi with him at the Spillway event a few weeks ago, I told him, I was like, dude, get distribution into Texas. We'll sell more Crittenton stuff because people want more. The four grain was fantastic. We'll go in the Rick house. We'll do some custom finishing stuff. Um, the Mississippi Sippers have a ton of stuff they're finishing. We could maybe slide off some barrels of that. Like we could really get some fun stuff from them. He's just got to get distribution into Texas. Uh, do I have an Excel sheet to visually see? No, I don't. I just bought them all and I've tried them all and I remember most of them there, Cooper. But I'm working on an app. We're working on a brusel hunting app that will allow me to track my collection or my selection in this case. Um, so, um, so I, at some point we'll have it, but it's, it's gonna be next year. The thing is, what's funny is I don't drink as much as everybody assumes I do. Like every time you see me, I'm drinking. Every time you see me, it's Monday. We're on a stream, a video comes out, I'm drinking. We batch those. Um, at this point, I'm really trying to cut back on alcohol consumption a little bit. And so I'm trying to make it to where if I drink, it's at a work function where, you know, kind of people expect that a little bit or it's on camera. And so I'm trying really not to, not to drink outside of that. Um, so it's, it's not as often or as frequent as you may think, which is good. Like that's just, you know, I, I, my, my job or my goal is not to consume that level of alcohol. JL, one more question. What is your favorite music to listen to while relaxing with some bourbon? So normally, like I'm a Tom Petty fan. That's just kind of my jam. So I've got Pandora. Now I'm too cheap to pay for it. People give me a hard time because my Pandora has ads because I, like, I just don't care. If it wants to run ads every few songs, doesn't bother me as, at all. Like it's not worth $8 a month to me. Um, so I've got mine seated with all sorts of weird stuff. Um, and I say weird stuff, like random eclectic stuff. Like there's Post Malone in there and Tupac and B.I.G. and, you know, Tom Petty and Sugarland and country, like George Strait. 
So I, it, it will play three songs of a genre and then completely flip genres. So it'll do like 90s rap and then flip to like 80s country. Uh, and, and I love every bit of it. Like I love the variety and I love a little bit of all types of music. But I like stuff that's just kind of in the background. Here's my favorite type of music. My favorite type of music is after you've had a few to drink and you, you think you can actually sing that song, like some Hootie and the Blowfish, right? Great example of this. Not technically the most sophisticated music in the entire world. You don't have Celine Dion level vocals on that thing. After you had a few, you feel like you could perform that song and then you try. That's my favorite type of music. What's your favorite bourbon, whiskey, documentary, or movie? We've got, we actually have some fun kind of documentary stuff we're planning for next year. It's gonna be really exciting. Uh, the one where, I forget the name of it, but the one where they steal all the pappies, like somebody post, is it, I forget the name of that, of that, that was pretty fun. Um, and if there's any bourbon whiskey documentaries that I should watch, that maybe I have not seen, let me know in the chat, I would love to watch those. I'm glad we were able to get those. So they, we had talked to Redwood Empire and they said, hey, we've got these available. We didn't make any money on those. We're not marking those up. We're not like, they just said, hey, we'll give them to you, make them available to your patron. And we made them available to y'all. So I hope all that works out. I know they weren't able to ship to a lot of states. I hate that. Nothing I can really do about that. When's the next Bruzel Barrel pick? We have one, two, three, four, five barrels picked on the way literally any day they may show up. So I'm expecting between now and the end of December, we will drop five barrels. Um, and then we just did Still Austin. That should be available in January. And I'm hoping to have more, as long as y'all like the short barrel toasted and y'all want more of it, uh, once those start to arrive, they have shipped out. Uh, once they start to arrive, as long as everybody liked those as much as as I think they're gonna like those, we'll get more of those. Uh, so should have more of those coming in January along with hopefully the Still Austin. When are you gonna check out what stores are doing bourbon drops in your area? That's what we're hoping to do with the app there, Jake. I, I'm hoping the app can provide you because there's no way for you to really know. You just have to like follow all of these liquor stores on social media. That's really the only way. So Facebook, and then every time you go to a liquor store, follow them on Facebook if they if they have one. Blessed Assassin got the email that the short barrel toasted and rye should be there on Thursday. Awesome. I'm, I can't wait to get everybody's thoughts on these because toasted barrels are so like, they're different, right? Some people love them, some people hate them. And so I like them, I like them. I, as far as toasted barrels go, the short barrel is high on my list. Like that might be my favorite toasted barrel out there. Um, and so I'm, I'm really curious to see what folks think about the toasted barrels. Uh, but also the Knob Creek, like the Knob Creek's just good. There's no, are people gonna like it? If you like Knob Creek, that Knob Creek single barrel we bought is going to be good. If you like rye, I think you're gonna like that short barrel rye as well. Uh, but the toasted barrel is the most unique and interesting one of the bunch. And so I'm really interested to see what people think about it. Dylan Lee, how do, you, how do I get whiskey from you? So if you're looking for barrel picks, they're gonna drop to patron. So you need to be in the patron. There is a free tier if you don't wanna pay. The really, really desirable bottles won't make it down to the free patron tier, but at least you'll know, right? You'll know what's coming. And then every once in a while, some bottles will make it down there. So I see uh, Bob there asking, how's Maggie? Uh, Maggie is, I'm, my mechanic that did a lot of the work on Maggie decided to just retire his shop. He doesn't want to do it anymore. So um, I found a new shop, but it's like a two month wait list to get a few issues fixed on Maggie. So I'm, I've taken apart like the armrests and some things inside. I'm doing some, like some plastic repair. Discord is asking for J-Rock's tater. I know, I know. So we were supposed to tater sticker the J-Rock, the rye from Short Barrel with J-Rock's face on it. And timing just didn't work out. Like it just, I needed these bottles to go out. But now do I want to spend, I don't know, $300 buying and sending out tater stickers? Probably not. We're going we're gonna to tater sticker everything next year. 
But uh, the third, so we've got several. We've got the 13th colony. We got the 13th. We did the sour mash video. I'm expecting a double oaked. I made some deals for a double oaked. I'm hoping to have one here pretty soon from 13th. Um, we did a review of their cash strength bourbon. I, that video may have went out. It was a short. Um, I don't. I, if it hadn't went out, I don't know what happened, but it should be out. And then, um, obviously, the barrel pick video comes out when the barrel pick's available. So we're, we're ex you know, expecting big things out of that video as well. And, um, dude, I'd, like, I'd love to do more stuff next year. So I think people are going to really like what we pick from y'all. Have not done any hunting in Iowa. Uh, or 13th Colony rye pick. Okay, so Alvin, we only got allocated one barrel. I would have bought a rye. They had a sweet potato. Uh, whiskey that they had done that was out of this freaking world. I would have bought that. Like they would have sold three barrels to me if they would have gave them to us. But they're like they're small. They're just starting their barrel pick process. They're trying to figure it out, right? And so they didn't want to go overboard with it. Um, that's it's fine. Like it's fine. I'm, I'm appreciative of the barrel that we got. 